From the moment you wake up, you'll be under attack. From the news, from social media, all these things will induce an emotional response in you, normally fear, that will dictate how you live the rest of your day. And it'll actually stop you achieving what you want to go on with your dreams and desires and what you're actually trying to fulfill in your life. So how many times do we get distracted? All the time from things outside of us that stop us from doing what we want to do, stop us discovering who we really are. When an enemy from past times approached a fortress or a castle, the first thing they would do is check the outside of it for weaknesses. So they can break through it, get inside, and overrun all the occupants within the castle walls. The slightest weak point in the castle, which is actively being searched for, means that the enemy will get inside and create chaos for the occupants within. And once the enemy is inside, it's much harder to eliminate them. So what we need is a powerful mind fortress that we become aware of our weaknesses and where they are. What vices and behaviours we have that stop us going forward with what we want to do. All the external messages and fear-inducing behaviour that's coming in from, from outside of us. We need to be mindful of all this coming in and stopping us from going forward with what we want to do. And the more you are, you, you are aware of this, we develop an efficient mind warrior, which is like a mental muscle. The more proficient you become at this, the more effective you will be at protecting what really matters to you and keeping external influences that are harmful to you and stopping you from, from moving forward at bay. None shall pass. What? None shall pass. So we need to be aware of our own weaknesses. We need to be aware of everything that we do, our own behaviour, as well as the behaviour of other people, including what we listen to, that are coming in and stopping us from pursuing our goals. Otherwise, we're gonna constantly lose ourselves to fear. If we continue to allow vice such as porn or drugs to breach the walls of our mind, we become lost to the lure of the senses. And unlike what most people believe, it infiltrates the rest of our life on every single level. One vice leaves the doors open to all vice. Here you can consider the mind fortress to be the protection and the aim of the highest good you can reach for. And without this awareness, your own castle walls of your mind will be breached and violated every single day. And you'll become weaker, more afraid, and far more subservient. Most people are completely controlled by what they watch, listen to, and consume. So start by taking a serious look at what you watch and what you consume and how it makes you feel. Start to consider who you want to be, or where you want to be, and start to patch up your own mind fortress walls and aim at the highest courage you can. The greater the fortress of the mind, the more self-protection you will have. This means you can protect what really matters to you and choose what you let in and what you keep out.